Hey everybody, this is Jorik. Welcome back to Portugal and Beyond. I hope you're having a great day. If you haven't already, please subscribe uh, to get more information, not just about Portugal, but about European travel news. As I get it, I try to send it your way to keep people kind of up to date. This, unfortunately, I'm about a week behind in posting, but Sweden, if you're looking to go to Sweden this year, check out Stockholm or one of the many other cities or towns, it's now open to non-EU travelers. And the great news is there's no longer any vaccination documents that are going to be required that you have to present to get a boarding pass or get into the country. So that's great. Uh, next, there's no test. So over and above any types of vaccine documents, no test required to get in. And then Sweden never really had a passenger locator form, uh, but they do not have that. Most of us are used to filling out a form when we're going to places. Sweden doesn't have one. So for those of you looking to travel to Sweden or add that to your itinerary, it's great news. No documents needed of any kind uh, to get in other than, of course, your passport identification uh, and your boarding pass uh, to get into the country. So all things are good and looking up, there are more countries that are following suit. Some countries have already done that in the past month hoping that throughout April and May and going into the summer travel months, we have more countries that relax um, all, if not most, of the requirements to get into countries other than what used to be just passport and your boarding information to get in. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for watching the full video. If you get a chance, and if you're interested in reading some crazy workplace stories, please check out my two books, Magnet of Madness, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available on Amazon in ebook or soft cover. If you want to make fun of me, there's plenty of stories where you can do that. If you want to make yourself feel better about the job that you're in, It'll make you feel better too. But uh, crazy stuff that happened over 30 years, you won't believe it until you read it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you get a chance, pick up a copy of one of these on Amazon. Thank you so much.